For the front end of my web app, I'm going to use Nuxt.js. If you're a fan of Vue, you'll definitely be a fan of Nuxt. And it's pretty simple to get started. Just go to nuxtjs.org, and on the homepage, you'll see a link to get started, which will take you to the installation instructions, and you'll see some high-level information on what you'll need to run Nuxt, how to get started creating a Nuxt app, and all that good stuff. But if you scroll down to the very, very bottom, you'll see a section called Using Create Nuxt App. And this is really easy to just get started creating a Nuxt.js app for your development environment. All I'm going to do is copy this command for yarn create Nuxt app. And then I'm going to open up my terminal here, paste that in, and I'm going to name my project the movies. All right, let's run that command, and you'll see it start to install Nuxt.js on my machine. And then it's going to take you through a little wizard for adding dependencies to your application. First off, it's asking me, hey, do I want to call it this? I sure do. I will use JavaScript. I will use Yarn. And let's see, for my UI framework, I'm going to use Tailwind CSS. Axios is good for me. I'll use ESLint. Testing framework. I'm just going to go rogue and choose none for this project. And then I'll select Universal. Server, I'll be running this on a Node.js host. JSConfig.json, yep. All right. So it's going to finish installing all of those given the dependencies that I selected. As we can see, it's installing the packages with Yarn. Just a couple more steps and it'll be done. Okay, so completed creating my app on my local machine here. Now, let's just go ahead and CD into it. So CD the movies. And let's go ahead and run Yarn Dev to run the application. Okay, we see that it's done and it's listening on localhost 53572. So let's go ahead and open Safari back up. And then paste in the localhost with the port number and we could see that we have this nice little splash page to get started.